This is going to be a five-step guide to easy course creation. And I'll as well want to share with you the software or the tech that you're going to need for this as well. All right. So let's go with the first step. The first step is going to be to choose a user-friendly platform to upload your course in. And I'm going to recommend PayHip for this. PayHip, as you might not know, is a fabulous course creation platform. I like to start off new course creator with this platform for two reasons. One, PayHip is free. They do take a percentage of what you make. But that percentage is not really that high. And I feel like for someone who's starting out, you don't really want to have to spend a lot of money on a software that you don't know if your course is going to sell it. And you've created a course and you're not really sure if you're going to make money from it. I recommend people to start with paying money for a platform Put it out first. And I think PayHip is perfect for that. Okay. The second thing that I like about PayHip is that. You might have digital products like an ebook, or you might have templates that you want to sell. Well, all of this can be done on PayHip, as well as selling physical products, as well as selling your services. So, when some coaches are just starting out, like they don't have any of this stuff. So, I say go to PayHip. PayHip will do all things for you. Of course, it will allow you to sell digital products, it will allow you to sell your services, all of these things. Okay. So, again, I recommend PayHip for this. They Literally, like you can upload the course. They have modules. They have ways that you can add bonuses. They have all of these things and they will collect emails and you can send emails out from this platform as well. Okay. So people to sleep on PayHip. And if you haven't heard pay about PayHip, go ahead and put that in your uh, noggin and your note taken so that you can go back to it. It's a great platform, right? So let me know if any of you have used PayHip or have heard about PayHip. Say, yes, you've heard about it or PayHip is very new to you or maybe you're using PayHip. Let me know if you have used PayHip in this way. All right, so let's go on to number two. Step two is using simple video recording tools. Now, I know there's a lot of them out there, but I recommend StreamYard. I recommend StreamYard for recording your content. Now, I know I'm a little biased to this because I've been using StreamYard forever. I am using StreamYard to do this live presentation. And what I love about StreamYard, and all of my members hear me say this all the time, is that I like the versatility of the way you can see and, and present content. I'm a visual person. I need to have some type of movement going on. And so I like StreamYard because it allows me to do this. I can give you full face. I can give you face with full screen of my slides. I can give you slide only. I can give you me at the bottom left-hand corner. I can do so many things inside of StreamYard. And I like that. And I think people who consume my content like that you see this variety when you are viewing me. And so I use it for that in course creation. So StreamYard will allow you to go live. It will also allow you to just do record only. So most all of my courses are recorded with StreamYard, okay? They do have free version. With the free version, you're going to get like the logo at the top, which is fine if you want that. But again, StreamYard is not that expensive, y'all. Like there are so many benefits. And as long as I've been with them, they have grown like so. There are so many new features with this platform. It's amazing. I just really feel like it makes your presentation more professional. And again, I don't have anything against Zoom. Like if you are happy with Zoom, Zoom is not free though. You can present on Zoom. You can present in uh, Loom. You can pre present in Canva, all of those type of things. But they do everything all in one platform. I, I don't like to be doing a little bit here and a little bit there. And all. StreamYard provides all those for me, right? If I want to do live streaming on YouTube, I can go to StreamYard. If I just want to record my content, record only without going live, I can do that on StreamYard and they, I, they download it. And it actually will house some of my videos. I need to upgrade my storage. 
but you can also house your videos on StreamYard and have people watch from StreamYard as well. Like you share the link. So I'm not going to back down off of, I think you need StreamYard to be recording your course content because I just think it just gives it such a more professional without the expensive cost. I mean, it looks like someone has edited your videos. Step three is going to be, if you're going to create your slide, create engaging content with templates. Cam is going to be what you want to use. Cam has the best templates out there. Here's up. I'm using a Canva template right now. These slides are designed with. Because although your girl is a graphic designer, your girl ain't got time to be designing all these things. She just don't. So I use the templates. I always, even as a design, I always started off with a template and then I added my own brand and I, I added my own splash, right? So go into Canva and type in presentation slide. You can also type in course slide and all of these templates will pop up. And if you are not using Canva, the paid version, I'm going to tell you that you need that investment. If I was to start off with a coach who was like, look, I need, I'm on a, you know, a tight budget and I want to create a course, I would tell that coach that you need at least need a $100 budget to run the software, to use Canva, right? And once you're done, you can always cancel it and downgrade. You don't have to keep it. But I always say at least a $100 budget. So just think about that. I'm just being real honest with you. Canva is going to be your best friend. I do recommend if you do the paid version. It just makes it easy on you because a lot of the most beautiful templates do have the crown on it. And anytime you see the crown, that means that's a paid, a paid template or something like that. Okay, so get Canva. Step number four is going to be payment processing. How to in integrate great, if I can get my words out, how to integrate easy payment systems. Now, I'm going to recommend Stripe. Every time I'm going to recommend Stripe because Stripe is used on all platforms, like all platforms. Now, I know you can use PayHip and I think you can use, I don't know what the other platforms are. Like, I, I just don't even keep over that. Stripe is going to be on all platforms, okay? And so I say sign up for Stripe. Of course, it's free, it's a payment process. And Stripe is gonna be connected to the bank account that you want your money to be flowing into, okay? Stripe does hold your money. I think you get it gets deposited weekly instead of every day. I think people use PayHip because you get your money that same day. Stripe will hold on to the money and then will send the money out to you at the end of the week, okay? I think it's like on a Tuesday or something like that. It just deposits in my account and I'm good with that. So I send you payment processing. Just sign up for Stripe because whatever platform that you use, Stripe is going to be that connecting, integrated platform that you can use. All right. So that is payment processing. Now, step number five. Step number five is going to be launch and promote with confidence. Launch and promote with confidence. And the only way to do this is to have a marketing plan. You got to have some marketing strategies and a marketing plan. Like you don't want to be really nilly in out there. Like, hey, you know, some of us don't know or understand that it takes people seven to 10 times to see your offer before they take action. A lot of times we just want to post something one time and let that be. We can't do it. People who need to see your stuff don't see it. You want to post it at one time, and maybe you post it at 12 o'clock. Some people like, me, what you eating? I put on my phone when I'm eating. So if you post 12, don't see it if you post it again around 5 o'clock. And then I might say, I'm going to get back to that later because I'm going to sit here and watch television with my husband. So you post it again later on the next day for me to see it. So you're going to a marketing plan on how you're going to get in front of your people. You need a plan on how you're going to encourage them and let them know that your course is what they need. And you need to know how to get in front of the right people. 
you know, I don't choose creative core. And no one buys for you. I want you to have a course that people actually want. I want you to have a course that people are referring people to and say, hey, you've got to get this course because it's dynamite. Should have a course that people are share success stories with you. I don't want you to spend the time creating and putting all your heart, sweat, and tears into a course and no one buys. You must have a marketing plan. You you must know what direction you're going into. And so a lot of times we 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 have people who sell you how to create a course, but they leave out the most important part, which is how to market it and how you get people to buy. I'm a marketing coach, as well as a content creator for coaches. And so I'm never going to leave out the marketing part. And I might skip some of the steps in the creation part because I'm about to jump you content as well. I'm never going to leave out the marketing part. Because marketing is how your products are sold. That's how you get people to buy what you are offering. And so if you don't have a marketing plan, then I want to say the next step for you is to download my free mini course on how to create an online course in just one day. Now in this, this is the first step towards transforming your coaching business. In this training, let me give you a full so you can see that link. In this training, it is a snippet from my larger training inside of the Coach Simplify Academy. I don't want to go in even greater detail of all the things that you need and the steps, right? If you are ready to plan your course content, then this course is for you. If you want to learn how to record with ease, then this course is for you. If you want to know additional tools and resources and how I'm using it, then you know that this course is for you. If you want a quick launch strategy, marketing strategy, then this mini course is for you, okay? It's free. And if you are new to the course creation, then I would suggest that you sign up for this first. Then... When you're ready for the next level, then I want you to join me in the Coach Simplify Academy. It's a four module mini course. It does drop every day because I want you to spend one day on each part of this. There's an assignment at each module that I want to walk you through. Look, I'm playing with you about creating a course and incorporating this into your, into your coaching business. I believe every coach needs a course. I believe every coach needs digital products. You cannot be coaching one-on-one for the rest of your coaching career. It will overwhelm you. You're only one person. So when I share something with you to make your life easy, serious about it, because it's about living a soft life, and I want all the people around me to live soft lives as well. I want you to look like you 30 when you 50. Your girl is speaking three, and I try to kind of maintain this look as long as possible. And I'm not about the stress. I'm not about stress. And stress, y'all know, will create some wrinkles. I'm not your girl. She ain't about that. I want to make your life as easy as possible. And the first step is to download this mini course. Now, look. Go to coachsimplify.com forward slash course one day to get instant access to this mini course on how to create an online course in just one day. Everything you need is in this mini course, but if you're ready to level up and upscale your coaching business or your course creation, then you definitely want to try to join us inside the academy, okay? I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. I enjoy presenting it to you. I want you to join me again next Saturday. So mark your calendar for every Saturday at 10 a.m. I'm going to be here spilling the tea 
on how to grow your coaching business fast. All right. You guys have an awesome and blessed day. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next Saturday. Peace out.